children, welcome to my English class. What are we going to learn today? Look at this background. There are three hidden words. I shall give you 10 seconds from now. Please find the words. Time's up! Can you find the words? Hopefully, you do. What are they? The words are simple, present and tense. We are going to have a lesson on simple present tense. Simple present tense. Do you know anything about this? A very exciting lesson is coming up, so stay tuned. Thank you, Grammys. Yes, we are going to learn simple present tense. Basically, simple present tense is a verb tense. Remember, only verbs are involved. What are verbs? Verbs are words used to describe an action. For example, eat, sleep, walk, and etc. All the verbs can form simple present tense. Now, let's play a word search game to test your understanding. You are given two minutes. There are many words hidden in it. Do not circle all the words that you have seen, as there are some nouns and adjectives in it. Remember, only verbs. Look for words that can describe an action. You see, what action am I doing? Yes, I'm dancing. So, dance is a verb. Can you find the verb dance? Continue searching. Another 20 seconds to go. Let's check the answer. What have you got in your list? First word is is. Is? Why is? Is is an action? I know you children have the same questions, right? For your information, is is a third person singular present indicative of be, or sometimes called as verb to be. So, we have to circle it as an answer. Brilliant, Grammys! The next word is another verb to be, are. Are is the present indicative, plural and second person singular to be. The third word is the verb to be too. It is am. M is the first person singular present indicator of B. Let's move on to the next word. Read. I read a book. Good job. The next word is write. I write with a pencil. Write is an action. See? Let me try the next one. I know the next word is understand. But is understand a verb? Yes, it is. Although 
We can't see the action and yet we can feel it. Understand means to interpret or view something in a particular way. The next word is easy, which is eat. Do you know what is the meaning of eat? Show me your eating gestures. Please imagine you are eating a delicious burger right now. <laughs> the next word is even easier, which is love. So, love is a verb. Come, let's do the love gesture together and spread love. Alright, let's go through other words fast. Other words include reply, scream, collect, dance, cycle, and finally, rise. Boys and girls, I can see words like Happy, table, canteen, pencil, snack, and book. Can't we circle them as well? Hmm, good question actually. What do you think children? Can we? No, we can't. It is because happy is an adjective while the rest are nouns. We can't change the word form for all these words to simple present tense. Simple present tense indicates that an action is present now, relative to the speaker or writer. Generally, it is used to describe actions that are factual or habitual, like things that occur in the present but not necessarily happening right now. Then, it can also be used for universal truth. Remember, for singular nouns like he, she, it, and a person's name, we need to add an S. Then, for plural nouns, we and they, we just remain the base word. Do not add an S to the verb. I and you are special. They join the plural nouns family. So, do not add an S to the verb. So, verb consists of actions which we do often, usually, always, sometimes, normally, or even every day. Remember, these six words are important. If we realize they appear in a sentence, we have to use simple present tense. Look at the sample sentence. Oswald always sings in the classroom. Underline or highlight the word, always. It hints us that this sentence did not happen in the past, so we use simple present tense. Did you see there are stars beside the word never? Never is a very special case. For never, we use simple tense as well as though we did not do the actions. Look at the sample sentence. My mother never replies my message. Never is the keyword for this sentence. So, instead of reply, we need to cross the consonant Y and change the word form to replies. Practice makes perfect. Let's do a simple exercise. Point to the verbs that use simple present tense. Look at the example. He always goes jogging in the morning. Which one is the verb? Yes, the verb goes. Good job, everyone. 
Let's try one more example. She serves the internet every day. What's the key word for this sentence? Yes, every day. Which word is the verb? Yes, the word serves. Well done, everyone. Basically, the present tense uses the verb base form, which means the root words. For example, words that we learned earlier in the word search game like understand, write, or eat. In addition, look at this graphic now. You can see the words have got no S, no ING, and of course, no ED. While for the third person singular subject, most of the time the base form needs to plus S in the ending. For example, Mary feeds, Peter enjoys, Tim cooks. Wow, that's as easy as A, B, C. Uh-uh, mm-mm. Don't be hasty. Not all words for the third person singular, he, she, it, that add S. Some might need to add ES too. Then, some verbs that end with a consonant Y is another special case. We need to replace the Y with IES. For example, reply will change to replies. Study to studies. Mary to Mary's. And etc. <sighs> Very not boys and girls. To understand more in simpler way, let's go through all of them one by one in a table form. Yes, generally for the third person singular, he, she, it, we add S. Look at the words in the table. Work to works. Eat to eats. Play to plays. Swim to swims. And last but not least, right to rights. Then, for verbs ending in the consonant Y, we need to cross the Y and replace with IES. For example, studies, cries, tries, spies, flies. Lastly, for verbs ending in O, S, H, T, C, H, X, and double S, we have to add E, S. Look at the example given in the table. Go, goes. Wash, washes. Watch, watches. And mix, mixes. And kiss, kisses. Look at some other examples. Teaches English. Watches TV. Goes to school. Does exercise. Studies English. Okay, boys and girls, how are you doing so far? Don't worry, if you do a lot of practice, I'm sure you'll get the hang of it. Still remember the six key words which help us to identify the present tense sentences? Here are some others too, namely, every day, every week, every month, every year, every night, every evening, and every morning. Then, words like daily, weekly, monthly, yearly, annually, and fortnightly. When you come across all these words, 
In a sentence, remember to use simple present tense. In order to concrete what we have learned, we need some practice. There are five questions here. Let's make an affirmative sentence for each picture. You are given one minute from now. Just construct a simple sentence. Recall all the rules that we have learned. Singular noun versus plural noun. Which noun shall we add an S? Remember, not all the words need to add an S. Some might need to add ES and even drop the Y to IES. If you can understand these two main rules, you are good to go. Don't stop for another 10 seconds. Look at the first picture. The word is given, go, and there is only one person. So, we need to add S. He is singular noun and the verb go ends with O. So, for singular noun, we need to add S and for O, we need to add ES. Okay? Look at the second picture. The word given is eat and there are three people there in the picture. So, do we need to add S? They is plural noun and the verb is eat. So, for plural noun, we do not need to add S. So, just remain the base word for the word eat. Okay? Next, look at the third picture. The word given is surf and there is only one girl there. So, do we need to add S? She is singular noun and the verb surf ends with F. So, for singular noun, we need to add S, which it would be serves. Look at the fourth picture. The word given is play and the noun given is I. So, do we need to add S? I is singular noun. Since I is the special case for singular noun, we do not add S for the word play. Okay? Alright, here comes the last picture. The word given is cry and the noun given is she. So, do we need to add S? She is singular noun and the verb cry ends with Y. So, for singular noun, we need to replace the consonant Y with IES. It will change to cries. How was it? I hope you've got it all right. Oh, oh, oh. It's the time that we have all been waiting for, the challenge time! What are we going to do today? 
Hmm. We are going to change a poem that used past tense to present tense. Don't forget, first, circle all the verbs in the poem. You are given one minute for this task. Are you ready to take up the challenge? Let's do it! Let's check your answers now. The verbs in this poem include jiggled, jaggled, jerked, pushed, pulled, poked, stopped, left, came. How was it, boys and girls? I hope you've got it right. Now, it's your time to be a poet. Let's change all the words you have circled to simple present tense. Okay? One minute starts now. Let's check the answers. Jiggled, jiggles, jaggled, jaggles, jerked, jerks, pushed, pushes, pulled, pulls, poked, pokes, stopped, stops, left, leaves, came, comes. Wow! That was fun, isn't it? Let me share with you a simple way to remember. Do you know Superman? Trust me, Superman is a great helper in simple present tense. Remember, Superman always helps, especially someone who is helpless and doing an action alone. So, for singular nouns like he, she, and it, the superman will come for a rescue. Look at the examples given. He saves the planet. She saves the planet. And it saves the planet. The S that is added to be saved by superman. He has come for a rescue. How wonderful is it, right? I hope all of you have a great idea on what is simple present tense and how we use it. Generally, we use simple present tense for facts, habits, routines, feeling and emotions and also general truth. Still remember the five key words which help us to identify the simple present tense? Namely, often, usually, always, sometimes, and normally. Then, there are some other phrases too, like every day, every week, every month, every year, every night, every morning, and every evening. Then, words like daily, weekly, monthly, yearly, annually, and fortnightly even play an essential role. Most importantly, when you come across with these key words in a sentence, remember to use simple present tense. Here comes the last part for revision, the Superman rule. Remember, Superman only rescues one person. He will help one person to do an action. Look at the sample. Let's read them aloud together. Superman. He gets up at 6 o'clock. He watches TV every day. He has dinner at 7 o'clock. He doesn't wash up. When one person is doing an action, we add on S to it. Mega challenge! My dear boys and girls, 
Before we end our lesson, here's the mega challenge for today. Still remember the, this tooth poem? I would like to recite with the right pronunciation and intonation. Remember to stress on simple present tense. Do record it using your smartphone or camera. Then upload it to any social media like Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, etc. Do remember to hashtag with these three phrases, namely hashtag Kid Crew, hashtag Gram It Right, hashtag Gram Kid. That will be all for today. Until then, see you boys and girls in another exciting lesson. Goodbye!